As you can hear from behind me, we're at Ford's booth at Electrify Expo, and they are tearing it up here. And I have the awesome privilege of being with Colette Davis, who is here in front of her Mach-E GT 1400, and which is also supported by this pretty awesome equipment back here. For those of you who are nerds like me, we'll talk about that in a separate video, but that's a cooling system, which is really cool. We won't talk about that now, but Colette, thank you so much for the time to talk with me today. Yeah, of course, Really thank excited you. to get your insights and how you see this electrification making its way into racing. Yep. So if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to know what your past is with racing. If you could share that with everybody, that'd be cool. Yeah, so I mean, I, I started the traditional route of starting racing in goat carts, and from there I went to open wheel cars, sports cars. I've kind of driven a little bit of everything. So from there I did rally cross, monster trucks, and now I've been focusing mostly on building and drifting my own drift motorsport vehicles for the past like five, six years. This is pretty new behind us, right? Yeah, so this is a new opportunity for me. So this is my very first year behind the wheel of the Mustang Mach-E 1400 here with Ford and RTR. It's pretty wild. I hadn't ever drifted all-wheel drive before, before stepping into this. So all-wheel drive drifting is definitely a completely different experience and add e being EV on top of that makes it even wildly different from anything else I ever get behind the wheel of. So it's pretty cool. So before this car, what, let's start with what's your favorite car that you were drifting in before? Because I want to talk about that in comparison to this. So I have a lot of drift builds and I can never answer that question. Okay. I feel like you're asking me to choose favorite my favorite child, child you know? So I, I have a, a three rotor RX7 that is one of the first builds that I ever started building on my own. So that one's definitely always going to be a favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's rear wheel drive. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So this being all wheel drive, that being rear wheel drive, that's also a light car too. Yep. So kind of whipped around. This is quite a bit heavier. Yes. So we have all wheel drive, we have a heavier build and the center of gravity in this car because of that battery pack is much lower. So how does that compare characteristics wise when you're drifting around in this compared to your other car? I mean, it's really night and day, you know, all wheel drive alone compared to rear wheel drive. You know, there's a lot less going on steering wise. You can't be counter steering. You have to point where you want to go. Um, and just it being EV is a completely different experience. You know, in theory, this is exactly what you want for drifting. It's instantaneous torque and it's all the response down low, which is perfect for drifting and lighting up tires. And this car, from what I can tell, has been lighting up quite a few <laughs> tires, just like this one right here. This is a new set right yes we've been going through a lot of, of tires less here than normal i've uh, my record so far has been 55 <laughs> tires in a matter of two days yes. and only three sessions per day uh, so this thing can definitely eat up some tires really really fast and what's really cool about it is that yes we've been driving it in all-wheel drive mode but it is fully customizable so we have the three motors in the front, four motors in the rear, so naturally it's rear bias, but we can also change that as we go. If I wanted to put it in pure rear wheel drive mode, I can do that with a little dial that I have in there with me. And if we wanted to do all front wheel drive, we could do that as well, but that's not as much fun. So. But you can do all of that from the cockpit as well while you're driving, right? Yeah, so there, there's a knob in there where you can change it by like 20% increments. But usually whenever we're doing stuff like this, we just want to keep it in all wheel drive shredder mode, which is the most fun for me. <laughs> Yeah, and that's one of the cool things about electric cars, and it'd be cool to hear your insights too, because with this, compared to a traditional race car, when you want to make changes, there's a lot involved, but sometimes with electric cars, because of the technology and all the computers on board, you can really do a lot with the car without really taking it apart and making a lot of changes, right? You can, and there's also just a lot less pieces. You know, there's, there's a lot less, there's a lot less things to break maintenance wise. It's a lot simpler. And what's really cool about this platform is that we're able to push the limits of the technology. And this technology is what's ultimately going to be on the road in the regular Mach-E, but that's what motorsports are for. You know, throughout history, that's where boundaries get pushed limits are broken and you beat the crap out of machines to see okay what can it handle and then eventually that technology gets passed down so as we start to see this uh transition of electrification and racing like we've been talking about what are your feelings how do you see this translating into the real world where people like me and and these guys out here who are tearing it up how do you see that happening in uh, your day-to-day -day life 
I mean, throughout the history of motorsport, that's why motorsport exists. It's to push the limits of new technology, see what we can get away with, and eventually that technology trickles down into what we actually see on the roads. So that's the exact idea behind the Mustang Mach-E 1400. Let's pack as much tech, as much power, let's go wild with it, and then use every single thing that we learn and develop to put it into the actual production cars. And the Mach-E certainly has not disappointed for you in this 1400. It's a very, very special car. <laughs> yeah. I'm very, very thankful to be behind the wheel of it. And I hear I get to take you out for a ride along as well. So it's going to be pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm very excited about that, though, although I've never been as fast drifting as what we're probably going to be doing in this. I heard this set of tires will not last the whole session. Yeah, it really they don't have a chance to be <laughs> fair. So we're going to have it on full 100 percent power mode for you. So all three motors in the front, all four motors in the rear are going to be ripping 100 percent. So you got to be ready. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'll be uh, strapped in and safe as possible. I really appreciate the time and thank you for sharing some of your feelings and thoughts about this electrification and uh, your time here with Ford. Of course. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the passenger seat. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. There we go. <laughs> oh, man, it's sticking. Oh, man. <laughs>